I didn't get around too early this morning. There goes dad there. We've been bucking logs and it's already starting to rain on us again. Uh, I didn't I didn't get up at 5. I usually get up between 5 and 5.30. I kind of slept in this morning. Some mornings I just don't. I just don't want to get out of bed some mornings. And this morning's one of those mornings. So uh, it's, I don't know, it's, it's about 9.30 up here, I think. That's what time it is, so. Uh, this is that big bur oak we cut yesterday. I didn't put a, I didn't make a very good video of it just yesterday. We were kind of racing the rain and the rain's going to mess us up again today because it's starting to pepper down a little harder all the time. But 14 foot, 38 inches is what this thing measured. And of course I'm standing this, uh, this part of the log right here. This is about chest high on me. I'm, I'm just right at six foot tall. So, um, you know, it's probably five foot off the ground that the butt is that way it's just a, and it's got a lot of taper to it but it's just a behemoth of a log it is just it's just a behemoth an absolute monster and of course this was the top piece above it it's rough but as big as it was i sure wasn't going to leave it there's a lot of footage there that old tree was just full of those big bur oak acorns i imagine the well here's one of them right here i drug out and I've seen these things get almost as big as a baseball before. They're pretty neat acorns. Always got the little fuzzy cap on them. The squirrels and deer probably ransacked that treetop this morning. You know, we were we were up here bucking logs today because we were scheduled to sell tomorrow. But we might have to push back a day because of this rain. But we were going through here looking at logs. Just kind of trying to get a kind of an idea of what they're going to do because sometimes my piles are scattered out in two or three different sets of logs over a big piece of property like this it's hard for me to get a good idea what the footage is going to do but it's like me and dad were talking even though some of these trees have cut bad like this guy here they're still so big there's going to be a lot of footage here these are just these are a pretty good sized set of logs the quality might not be the best like, you know we cut off five foot of that because of that hole and it's still showing a little bit right there we cut it off not too bad but they're just a any more fairly uncommon se uh, set of logs for the size this one here is the last one we cut yesterday it's a it's a big devil in itself it's got a good eight foot log on it three-sided and just a good piece of lumber above that thunder's getting closer what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up my pinnel hitch and we're going to go with the skid steer and get it over here try to get something productive done today anyway.
I knew I couldn't move that big bur oak or pick it up, but I just had to try anyway. That's that's some kind of log there. That's a monster. That is a monster. Now you'll see on some of this stuff, we'll take them down to six and seven foot lengths. As long as they got a little size to them, we can still utilize stuff like that. And if we can utilize anything, anything, I like to get it because I, I just see it. If you don't, you're just throwing away money for yourself and your client both. So we try to utilize every piece of wood we can get out of a tree on the walnut. Uh, the, the bur oak here, like I said, we I took as much as I could out of the top. Those two other pieces are pretty rough, but we can move them along, and there's a lot of footage there, so there's no, there's no need to leave them or try to throw them away. Just try to try to make the most out of them. But that uh, that's one of the bigger bur oak that we've we've cut in a long time.